Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome to episode 7 I think it is of my Pentagon Challenge. Now for those of you who are not familiar with the Pentagon Challenge, or you've just managed to pick up this, uh, this episode from somewhere without fully understanding what it is, well the Pentagon Challenge basically means that I've got to win the Champions League in all five continents around the world, um, which hence the name Pentagon Challenge. There is this such a thing called a Hexagon Challenge, no? That's six sides. Yeah. No, that's right. <laughs> what an idiot. There, there is a hexagon challenge, or the hex challenge, or whatever it is, where you can actually add on the World Cup as well. Mm, I don't know whether I'm going to do that or not. It all depends on how quickly I can get through the pentagon challenge, which, I've got to tell you guys, it. I'm not even thinking about winning the Champions League yet. And that is in my first season. Um in Asia. I'm in Indonesia at the minute. I'm at a team called Pasela after being sacked from my first team for bad results. Um, I personally put it down to my bad choice of buyings. My signings were, were not really brilliant at all. So, what's been going on guys since last episode? I've played three matches and guys, I've won two and drawn one. This, I can tell you something, this team is a lot better than my other team. Uh, the, the, uh, the tactics that I use, you will see in a minute, I'll go and, I'll go and show you them. But uh, the last one there, Arima, they are actually top of the league and I had a man sent off. How awesome is that? Now that's actually going to bring up the, uh, is that going to bring up the match report or the actual match itself? Let's have a look. Quick gander. Because uh, there was a time where you could press that button there and it'll actually come up with a match report saying everything. But now it seems to just come up with a match in the background. Uh, and that's something that I don't really want. So, let's go back out of there. Uh, basically, I did get a person sent off pretty early on in the match. And um, ah, there you go, look, Rosadi got sent off. I was down to 10 men against top of the league Arima and I still managed to come away with a nil-nil draw. I could have even nicked that game to be quite honest and we had a couple of close results there against Polita Jaya and Persija um, before we had the draw against top of the league and next game is going to be against Persipam but firstly let's go over to our squad and I will show you my tactics. Um, for those of you who are unaware where you can get these tactics, this particular tactic you can get from the footballmanagerstory.com uh, website, I believe it's .com, just uh, type in Football Manager Stories in Google and you know, you'll know you find the website, just go to the little downloads area, you'll find the tactics there. I don't tend to do my own tactics because I'm shit at doing my own tactics. Pretty simple really, so that's the reason why I always go for... I mean, I've I downloaded other people's tactics as well, I've got this Might and Magic and Yurt's Plan C, but uh, they seem to do a very good job at this Spurs 4-5-1 formation that, uh, that, that, that is on there, purely because, guys, this is a very defensive side, because my, my midfield and my attacking midfield and, uh, and forward aren't particularly brilliant, but I do have a decent uh, defence, they have a really good record with this and this is the type of formation I wanted for my last team PSM who incidentally are about 8th or something in that league uh, right but you know they just didn't seem to connect with that so you can see now guys I've moved up to 10th position 4 points out of relegation zone absolutely amazing stuff that is our area that's what we need to do we need to avoid relegation because I actually like this team and because I like where this team could go look at the 11 draws that we've got with this team look at the 11 draws if we could turn half of those draws into wins we'd be top of the league we would be top of the league guys this is a team I feel I could push up to the top of the league standards maybe next season maybe the season after we'll soon find out I really am feeling it with this team I'm really feeling it. I mean, just take a look at the fixtures, guys. Take a look at the fixtures. Look at all these. All these draws here. All these draws that this guy got. Then I took over. That was his last game. Percy Defon was his last game. I took over. Suddenly the draws are turned into wins. Those draws, maybe, I could have turned into wins. And then, guys, we could have been top of the league. So, given a full season, i really like to see where I am. And given some key signings when it comes to it. So I've been having a look around here and uh, I want to actually click that. Uh, okay, so let's continue on. And we've got a game in 11 days. So if anything happens between now and the game against Persipam, you guys will know about it. 
Well, holy shit, guys. Uh, Rosadi, who was the one who got sent off, actually got disciplined and he was given a straight three-game ban. Now he's been handed a further two-match ban. So five games in total for that rash challenge he had and, and got sent off for it. And rightly so. I was watching it in 3D and I've, you know, I've been playing every match in 3D now, if you guys will know from uh, a bit earlier episodes. But um, basically, guys... He was, the, the guy was shielding the ball, and then Rosadi came up behind him, we tried to get the ball, tried to get the ball, tried to get the ball, and then just took him out from behind, just absolutely swept him off his fucking feet, on his ass crack, and then, you know, it was given the, the sending off, and rightly so as well, rightly so. So, injury blow for Liverpool here, as Oliver Allinson has been sidelined, I never realised this guy was any good, okay, I don't know who he is. But he's a striker, and he's possibly out for seven to eight months with a broken leg. That is pretty amazing. Okay, guys, so I've just been having a look through my expiries. I've got a lot of contracts expiring right at the end of this season. So I've been having a look, and uh, this totals actually quite a bit of money. I've decided to retain the services of Rahman and Siafuddin, not Rasadi. And Imam Hambali here, actually, he's not got a particularly good average rating. I mean, 6.83... That's, I mean, it's okay, don't get me wrong, it really is okay, but I believe I can get somebody of similar quality for a lot less money. Look at this, 650 quid, guys. But the thing is, when I go to a contract offer, he will not budge on this £975 a week after one game. That's never going to happen, guys. That really is not going to happen. I can get a three-star guy in the centre there for a lot less than £975 a week. I reckon I can do that. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm sorry, but I'm walking away from that, Hambali. There is no way I'm going to give you that amount. So hopefully my assistant manager or my director of football or whatever it is doesn't manage to give you anything because I'm certainly not going to give you that much. Um, and then a couple of people here who are listed, a lot of people who are listed. This could give us some really, really good deals, guys. Really, really a, a good amount of money back as well because, as you will all know from my previous episodes, we, we have gone up actually in finance, but I believe there was a cash injection again, was there? I have no idea. Uh, let's have a look at the income. You see match day income, TV revenue, gate receipts has gone up quite a bit actually this month. Just this month actually. Bloody hell, it's quite a bit. Uh, expenditure, so 146,000 outgoing, 54,000. I don't understand why we shot up. I really don't understand that. Never mind. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, we, we're currently not doing very well at all in the finances. And you can see it there slowly going down to a million. And it will go down again, guys. I don't care what this little jolt up is. I don't know where that's come from. But it will go down again. So it's just something to keep in mind there. Oh, apparently I can find out here. Total wage costs. Expenditure of 185. So we've got a profit there of 293. And I don't understand where that's come from. Um... Especially with the turnover. Hmm. 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 Maybe that was the investment there finally showing up. That's quite possible. So this is a clear example of the type of thing I got involved with last season and I really should have kept more of an idea of what I was doing. With PSM, I immediately saw the scouting report here of four and a half star, uh, three and a half star, sorry, and thought, oh, bloody hell, this guy's a bit of good. He's wanted by three clubs, guys. That, to me, says, you know what? This guy looks pretty, pretty good. His best roles there, you can see, is advanced attack, poacher, a trecatista, and more roles. You've got I don't understand why that was all this bullshit here. But uh, best roles as a striker there, Advanced Poacher and Trek Artista. But, in my formation, we want an advanced forward in the attack. One and a half star, which is really not that brilliant. I mean, yes, it's pretty cheap, but for what, he, what I want him to be, he's really not that good. And that's the type of thing I was drawn into last season. I totally didn't see this thing down here, and that could have made a big difference to PSM, I think, when I was buying players, because I originally saw this, and I saw the three and a half staff. I bloody hell, this guy's good. He's got some. He's got 95 quid a week there, 20-year-old, nice and young, and uh, he's got good acceleration, good pace, and, um, you know, all this, uh, and good work rate, but... 
to be honest, he's only one and a half star in that position, and that's something that I don't want. So something to really keep an eye all out for, just because your scouting report says that he's very good. If you just double check down here what kind of you know position you want him to play, and make sure that it's pretty similar. If it's not similar like this, don't get them. Okay, guys, it looks like it is match day again, and uh, I've just been having a quick look. The Indonesian Super League, you can see, has a reputation of one and a half stars. That got me thinking, am I possibly in the best league to be able to win the Asian Champions League, or at least the Asian equivalent of a Champions League? And to be honest, I don't think I am. If we go to the Indonesian Super League here, you can go to View Asian Reputations, and I've just had a quick look in there. Now, of course, you can't play in a Japanese league, in uh, in this particular database now I'm pretty you know there's probably going to be a database uh, if not out already where um, you can actually play in the J uh, the Japan League of course because there isn't a Japan League the next best thing is actually South Korea in terms of reputation the next best thing is South Korean K League now that's obviously the the top tier of the uh, league in South Korea so maybe I should be um, aiming for a South Korean team. Maybe, maybe not. I don't quite know. But I know that there's a, a, a team in, in China, the Chinese Super League, a team in China called Guangzhou, and they actually win quite a lot of things, as far as I remember anyway. They actually win quite a lot of things, and the Champions League is one of them. So maybe, you never know, that I might be able to... Uh, to oh, hang on a minute. I've got uh, Arif Effendi was my theme of. Yeah, maybe I'll be able to get something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So, Pesela Board has provided yet another £425,000 uh, cash injection. They really can't keep doing that. And, you know, the board, of, the, the guy, the chairman there, has keep ploughing some money in. It's only a matter of time before, hopefully, I can try to give something back. We'll see. So, we've got Arif Effendi there. I'm going to actually offer him a contract. And Whoa. Fuck me. Right, let's have a look at his actual stats here. To, to be honest, look at his stats. And he wants, what? 800 odd quid a week? Uh, I'm going to set you for release, fella. Sorry about that. Have I really crashed? Interesting. Well, guys, a really, really interesting thing just happened. I actually crashed. The game crashed on me. Now, it's very, very rare in Football Manager that I come across, especially something like that, that will actually cause your game to crash. So that means I'm going to have to fast forward, do a couple of little bits and bobs that I've already done, uh, and then fast forward to the actual match day again. Really interesting, though. I'm going to see, when I get to that point, I'm going to save the game, and then I'm going to try it again. And... Um, See if the same thing happens. If the same thing happens, I think it's worth a bug report maybe to uh, to SI. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, guys, let's check this out again. Offender's contract is set to expire, but I want to set him for release. Wow. Well, guys, that is an actual genuine bug, and uh, I've got to say that Football Manager doesn't do a very good job of making it easy to report bugs. It took me, what, a good half an hour to actually get this bug actually um, submitted. And it was a whole real palaver of doing it. So anyway, as soon as I click set for release there, it's going to crash the game. I've reported the bug. We'll see what they're going to do about it. Or we'll see if I get any kind of reply whatsoever. I don't know. We'll see. But that means I'm not going to be clicking anything around there. And it means I'm going to be getting straight on with my match. Which is great. Uh, Persepan versus Persela. We are away from home and apparently we are favourites to actually win this game. Um, as we have been many other games before. I usually do ask to pick. And good job Roman Sayazin. Hambali there who's going to run out of contract. And so is Siaifuddin. Um, Novrian Saya. I think Novrian Saya is actually going to run out of contract. Is he not? No. June 2014. Um... We're still that was we're all right there, but Hambal is going to run out of contract. There's no way I'm going to pay what he wants me to pay. Um, at the minute, the midfield roles are to defend. Am I right? And he's only three star there, and he's only a three star. There's no way I'm going to give him nine hundred odd quid. Uh, see, Ifedin wants two hundred odd quid, and it's more than what I'm giving him at the minute. Yes, I'm going to save money by losing some players, but he is two and a half star. 
I don't know. Can I get somebody better for less money? I doubt it. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, but I, I really don't know what to do about that. So let's go ahead and submit the team. That's a really good team, guys. I've got used to my team now. So we're going to select, uh, select Submit Team there. It's going to go through all the business. And we're going to get to the match screen here. Brilliant. Come on. There we are. Continue to pre-match analysis. And you can see there we're now slipped down to 11th. Somebody's played PSPS and Procedure. If we actually win this game, we, drop, we go up to 9th again. Were we 9th anyway or was we 10th? I can't remember. But that's where we go. We continue to the team talk. And I've found out that you can just um, click there to go to the counter-attacking style that I like to do. So, start the match. Now oh, let's get on then. Now I've got to go back to the usual as extended highlights and see how we go from there. And the ball straight up the field there. Goal kick to Pacella. Nice one. 15 seconds gone. Presnanto. Oops it upfield. Cisha gets to the ball there. Roman Sire. In midfield. Hambali. Roman Sire. He's got a clear ball there to Novrian Sire. Novrian Sire gives the ball to Seiferdin, who's hit it straight at Furman Sire, who plays for Persepam in goal. Raman with the throw in. Towards Roman Sire. Good bit of uh, possession play here. Rambali. Seiferdin. Could give it out right. He has given it out right to Farfan. One of my key, key players, Farfan. Hambali in the middle. First time ball to Seifert in. First time ball to Roman Sire. And that is a really good shot. Furman Sire got down to that. And uh, picks it up quite nicely. Nice early warnings there for Persepam. That all may not be as it seems. Seifert in. Hambali. Keeping the ball. Yaranga. Really good right back that guy. Farfan. Yuranga, Seiferden. Is he going to give it to Hambali? Hambali goes for a bell turn. That is just past the post there. Good effort. It's not in there. And now Persepam look like they're going to have a chance here. Whips it upfield. Headed down to Aprian Sire. And that is just wide. Aprian Sire there. Warning signs. Warning signs, don't give them any opportunities, Pesela, come on now. Let's keep that. Raman. Now, Persepam look like they've got some sort of uh, opportunity once again. Raman. Aprian Sire. Pri Priatin. Down this right-hand side. Novian Sire did really well there, but just couldn't get it. Aprian Sire still with the ball. It's cleared as far as uh, Basile. Raman again. Now Aprian Sire again. Good first time ball, but Novrian Sire just cuts that out a beaut. Yaranga. Is this the chance? Roman Sire. Ball to Farfan. On the edge of the box. Hambali with the shot. Oh, and he just couldn't quite get to that. On the rebound. Novrian Sire. Roman Sire, sorry. And it's out for a Pesela corner. I still haven't managed to score from a corner. It looks like one of these. Uh, it's not as easy to score from corners in this game. Mbali is going to whip this one in. Into the middle of the box now. It's fallen for Golian! Persela! 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 Haven't scored from a corner yet. Bang goes Golian! Bang goes in a goal. 1 0 to Persela. Persela! 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 That's the shit, guys. Here we go. And it looks like straight from the off here. Our Persepam are going to grab an equaliser. Aprian Sire, good ball. No, we, we can't get complacent here. Have they given the ball away? Novrian Sire's got the ball. Roman Sire, th great little through ball to Novrian Sire. He's through on goal. He's by himself. Novrian Sire's then fucking at the post. He went a little bit too wide there. Too near the byline before he could do anything. Raman on this left hand side. Novrian Sire. In towards Roman Sire. Raman goes for the long shot. Furman Sire just palms that into to, uh, Mulyadi there. And we've got it back on this right hand side with Farfan. Seiferdin. 
Farfan again now. Giving the ball away. It's out for a throw in. And it's back to uh, waiting for the next highlight. Come on. Ooh, could be a chance here for Persipam. Priyatin. Basile. Apriansaya. Siafuddin just took him out there. Is he going to get a, a card for that? I think he is. He's already been... Uh, yeah, he's going to get a card. He's uh, had a few a few tackles in there. I can see on the top right hand side these little bits that come up. Well, it's whipped in there. Good defending. Aprian Sire, though. Oh, no, that's not well taken. Aprian Sire is now down this left hand side. What's he going to do with it? Nothing. He just whips it up the field to Roman Sire. Now on the counter attack here. Seisha's just held the ball up there instead of actually running at the, the guy. See, I've in good ball through to Farfan. It's 2 0. Per se. Per se. Per se. Now that is counter attacking football at its finest. I thought the move had gone when Cisha held the ball up too long, but this quick fire pass from Siafuddin through for Farfan. Boosh! Into the back of the net. It is 2 0 to Persela, and that is the shit we like to see. And Ik. Ik. I don't know. Presanto, uh, Presnanto there got the ball anyway. Couldn't pronounce his name before he took the shot, so never mind. Raman with the corner now for Persipam. Whips it right off the top towards Mulyadi. It's given to Ra Ras Rasyid on the edge of the box. I don't know where he's going. Where, where are you going for? Rasyid. And it's just done, both of them. But there's the ball out towards Aprian Saya, and it's back in now to Raman. Kamal, Kamaldin. Mawadi. Uh, Ik Pefua. Pef Oh, and Darwis has given away a free kick in a bad area. Is he going to get a foul, of, uh, a card for this as well, Darwis? Yes, he is. He's got a yellow card as Darwis. And that is in a bad area. Ik Pafua steps up to take this free kick. Boots it over the wall. And it's gone over the top of the bar as well. Pasella living dangerously. They could have had an equaliser by now. And we are 2-0 up at the break. It only takes one goal for Persipam, and then they're right back in it. So, really, we, we can't be complacent. Darwis. Raman. Ambali. Ball forward to Roman Sire. He's taking defenders on. Good ball towards Sisha. Can't quite get to it, though. Here's Farfan. It's come to Farfan on this right hand side. He's having a man on the match performance. See, I fit in. That is a, not a bad fucking shot from that bloke. It was more, it was curling. It had more bend than an inner tube, guys. To court actual soccer. And it looks like Persipam have a chance here. Priyatin. Aprian Sire. Edge of the box. Priyatin. Gives it to somebody. Aprian Sire. Oh, that's a good save there from the keeper. He's pushed it away. Is it a corner? Looks like it is a corner, guys. He's given away a corner, but um, it was uh, palmed away. The shot. Raman. Low corner in. Uh, Golian. Whips it upfield now. Sisha. Oh, Sisha's not got the ball, but it's uh, end of that anyway. Hambali whips it in. Golian on the far post, climbs the highest, Novrian Sire, surely that was a foul, ref, ref, send him off, surely that was handball there in the box, not having that bullshit, wonder if it's Derek Bastard Milborough, so a lot of things happening in this, in this game, Aprian Sire, to, to Kis, Kismet, Aprian Sire, Bulalo, Aprian Sire again, look at the space there, giving a ball into there, so Mulyadi, that's a good, good block there from my guy at the back. Nice, Golian, 8.4, he's getting there, what a ledge. Coming up to the 60th minute, it's around about that time that I do some uh, subs. I think the substitution comes on right about now, I think Rudy Widodo is going to come on. Seisha's doing very well, but I don't think he's quite, you know, quick enough. In fact, actually, let me, uh, 
Let me know. Get Satoshi on there actually. Satoshi Atomo, let's give him a game. Um, we also want in the center here, Siphodin, he's had a good match, but he's on that yellow card and is looking likely to maybe get a little bit more. So Reefin's going to come on for him. Uh, Novrian Sire is also on a yellow card, but I can't really do anything about this. Dawis is on only 6.1. That's a really low score, and I think he's not been doing too badly uh, to reflect that, to be honest. It's looking complacent, though, and that's never what you want for a centre-back. Nothing I can do about it now. Golian with the ball. Whips it right upfield towards the Tomo. Roman Sire. A refin. Ball forward to Farfan. He's managed to get it, but he's absolutely he's just belted it really, really wide there, Farfan. That's not much of a chance to show you at all. I don't know why it showed me that. Never mind. Giving the ball away, Farfan in the middle of the field, Hambali, is he going to have a long shot? No, he's not, a Reefin, who scored that absolutely belter, and there's Hambali, Furman Sayer getting down low to his right-hand side, collecting that ball, and uh, palming it right out for a throw-in. Furman Sayer whips it up the field there, and he's giving it straight to Presnanto, and now Presnanto on the ball, throws it out to Rahman. Right upfield there, gives the ball away to Prieton. To Indrianto. To Rahman again, uh, Rahman on the other team this time. Prieton. Rahman. Too many names I can't pronounce here. Aprian Sire, long shot maybe. Oh, he's t keeping it nice and easy there. Rahman. Kismet. Aprian Sire, good ball towards Har uh, Indrianto. Good block from Golian. Stops the ball going towards goal and forces it out for a corner. Something we can at least try and defend a little bit better. Come on, guys. Let's keep this win. This is important. Kismet. Whips it in. I don't know who's there, but it's gone out for a corner again. Looks like it's another corner. It is. From the opposite side this time. Kismet. Whips it in. Near post, Darwis just belts that out there. Well done, guys. Well done. Now it's gone out for a throw in for Persipan. Oh, you can see Darwis has just jumped up to 6.9 because of that one clearance. Golian's looking anxious at 9.0. Novrian Sire. Not still Novrian Sire. Atomo. This is the fast break that we need. Not fast enough. Farfan's got it. A refin and they've all gone back into position now. This is no good. Iranga down this right hand side. Farfan who's having a really, really good game. A refin. Iranga again. Farfan. A refin. Roman Sire. Giving it to Iranga to Farfan on this right hand side again. Come on now, fellas. A refin. Is he going to go for the long one? No, he's not. He's going to go for the safe one. And they're just passing it amongst themselves here. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. It uh, puts the time down a reef in. The goalkeeper didn't move. He was static in goal there. That could have gone in. Could have gone anywhere. Rahman with a throw in. Right up to us, Satoshi. And Bali. Looks like a fast counter attack, maybe. No. <laughs> You're going backwards. That's not what the counter attack is. A reef in. And there's Roman Sire with a little run there. And he's given the ball away to Mulyadi. So we're going into the 90th minute now. Only two minutes of added time. Surely that means we've won. Thank God for that. Furman Sire whips it right upfield there. Can they get a late consolation goal? Aprian Sire. Indrianto. To Kismet. Aprian Sire. Palalo. Surely that's going to be it now, Ref. Come on now. Aprian Sire. Mulyadi. Mulyadi, good tackle in there from a refin, and it's all over, guys. A 2-0 away win does not stop the Pasella train from running along the tracks. This is an absolutely amazing achievement that I've done so far with this team. Um, really, really happy to get them back up to ninth, but look, only 10 points behind league leaders, still with quite a few games left to play, and uh, most of them are actually above us, the ones that we've got to play, so... Really, really happy with that result.
very very happy indeed next we're going to look to try and get up there as much as we possibly can and then maybe look to try and add some people to the team come league end not now but come end of the league um, we'll look see who's going out we'll look to see what kind of money we've got and uh, we'll look to see what we can do with the team that we've got so Haig faces a fight at Pasela really New Pasela Lamonga boss Chris Haig has been finding life tough since arriving in January. Current manager has seen his side slump somewhat with poor overall form despite only one defeat in his first ten games. Haig will have to turn things around quickly if he's to keep his keep on the right side of the club's board and fans. Are you kidding me? Clinical finishing. If I get sacked because of some randomness, I am not going to be happy. Job status stable. So, we're okay there. I don't know what they're on about the media. They really don't know what they're doing. So anyway, guys, I think that's uh, that's about it for this episode. A um, couple of bugs there that I found. But uh, hopefully, next game. Next, um, I'll do three more games, I think. And next episode, we'll see exactly where we're placed. At the minute, we're doing very, very well indeed in Indonesia uh, in the Super League this time around. Doing our... Uh, avoid relegation and we've done we've pretty much got that and hopefully we can keep going with that and we don't get any you know bad run of farm but until next time guys i have been the soft man and as always stay safe